you guys. I am at my dad's cabin in eastern Washington and I am all ready to go to the wedding. I'm super excited. It's a beautiful day out. I am wearing long sleeves but I don't think I'm going to be that hot and my makeup came out really good. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, Zach is taking a shower and he's going to shave, put on his clothes, and then we're going to get going. Um, it's about an hour long drive to Quincy, which is where the wedding's at. Um, but I'm super excited. How do you know this is where you're supposed to sit? Um, my dad told me to just sit anywhere. So I sat here. Nice. Yeah. It looks so pretty. Is that a smile? I'm gonna put it like right here and fix it. There we go. I always delete the audio, I just need like filler. You think vlogs are done, but you fix my camera for me. Yeah, because you can be on a vlog. He's just mad because you have more followers, followers for your video vlog than he does for uh, his podcast. That's actually all we've been talking about. <laughs> Oh yeah, well like I always tell people, don't worry, I kind of bring my own. I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I've gotten for Bentley. None of this is really gifts. Um, I have received a couple gifts so far from friends and family. Uh, my baby shower is next weekend, so some of them have been coming in through the mail. But I just wanted to show you what I've gotten for him. And I usually record in my living room because it has a lot better lighting, but it is cloudy today, so the lighting's not that great anyway. And I had so much stuff that I wanted to show you, and I really just didn't want to lug it into the living room. Because um, all of Bentley's stuff is in our bedroom, we live in a one bedroom. And so I just like piled it on my bed and I'm going to show you guys here so that I don't have to lug it all in there and then lug it all back and put it away. Um, I think I'm going to start with blankets. I am obsessed with baby blankets. I think I counted the other day and he has like 13 blankets, which is ridiculous and he definitely does not need any more. Like, I know this sounds really bad, but unless I get some... Unless I get ones that I can't live without at the baby shower, if anyone gets me blankets, I'm probably going to return them. I know that sounds so awful, but I just, I have way too many, and I could use that on stuff that I do need. Um, I shouldn't have bought so many, because whenever someone gets you a baby gift, it always includes a blanket. You know, I think that's, that's one of the go-to items that people like to gift, and so I probably should have held off, but... I wanted to buy some cute ones myself and I couldn't really contain myself. Next time, like, I know we're going to have more kids. Uh, Zach wants three and I want four, so it's still up for debate <laughs> how many we're going to have. Um, but I know we're going to have at least two. Um, plans change all the time, but I know we've already talked about, you know, like, when we're going to have our second one, which is crazy, but Zach's really excited. So, <laughs> um, so the first blanket I ever got him... I ordered off Etsy and I do not remember any of the Etsy shops off the top of my head but I'm gonna put them all in um, the description down below the video so you can go find this stuff and this store in particular that I'm gonna talk about first has a ton of items um, they have really really cute like if I was having a girl I would have gotten one of their floral blankets instead she has amazing patterns. They're really high quality. I was super happy um, with my purchase. So on the front it has these little bears and you're gonna see this print again because I actually found another Etsy shop that sells shoes that are the same print so I got those for him. 
Um, but his nursery is woodland themed, so I've been trying to stick with like plaid and bears and foxes and trees and stuff like that. Kind of like lumberjack, you know, uh, theme. Zach isn't really into sports, and neither am I, and it was either like sports, dinosaurs, cars, or forest, and I just thought the forest theme was the cutest one. Um, and I really like, I really like plaid and stuff, like I'm really into fall, and so I thought it would be cute, you know, that our clothes would kind of match a little bit. Um, so it has the bears on the front. And then on the back, this is honestly my favorite part, on the back it has this, um, I'm pretty sure it's alpaca, might be llama, I'm not sure, um, but it's just super soft on the back, and um, it's really well made. It's like a good size, I don't know if I can show you, it's a really great size blanket. Um, I plan on probably using it in the car a lot because it um, heats you in November and it'll be pretty cold and it's really warm. I probably won't like bring it inside places because it is white and I don't want it to get dirty. Um, but I really love this blanket. So there's that. And then um, the second blanket I got him is also from Etsy and I'll link it below. And I was trying to find him a minky blanket because I really like minky fabric and when I saw this one I just like fell in love with it so it's deer print which I think is super cute it goes in with the woodland theme and it's different because I have stuff with bears I have plaid stuff but this was like I don't know it's just it's cool I really like it and it has the little spots um, and then on the inside it's got the um, it's ivory or off-white minky with the little dots, which I really, really like. And, oh, here we go. Here's a tag. This one was made by Baby Boo's Designs. And it also has, if I can find it, his name on it. I, I am obsessed with getting his name put on things. I don't know why. I'm totally not that way with my stuff. I'm not that way with Zach's stuff. I do have a lot of, like, um, stuff on the walls with like our last initial or whatever on it but with Bentley I am obsessed with getting his name put on things I think it's just because like this is going to be something he can hold on to and it's going to be really special you know what I mean and it, it has his name on it and just makes it more special um it is kind of hard to read that would be my only um my only thing with this blanket is the words are kind of hard to read because it is so fuzzy um, but, and I just got it in the same color as the minky, so like off-white or ivory. It says Bentley on it. I, I don't really mind that it's hard to read. I just wanted to like put it out there in case you are looking to order one. And I like that it's a smaller blanket. Um, I really like this one. I, I'm definitely going to use it for, um, our Christmas photos. Because I think that would be really cute. <laughs> um, and then the last... I have two more blankets that I wanted to show you. I My mother-in-law helped me make these, and they're super, super easy. I'll also include the link to this pattern in the description because I think every new mom should take advantage of this. If you know how to sew or you know anyone who knows anything about sewing, it's a super easy pattern, and it will save you so much money. Um, I wanted flannel swaddles because, once again, due in November, and I knew I wanted a lot of them because they're really useful. Like, you can lay them out on the floor, you know, you can swaddle, you can use them to cover yourself while breastfeeding because I really didn't want to buy a breastfeeding cover because I just feel like they're silly. Like, I just wanted to be able to use these blankets. And these are the perfect size. I have about, I think I have six of them. And I'm just going to show you my two favorite. Um, and my mother-in-law did the stitching, but I think... If she had shown me how, I totally could have done, you know, like if she had shown me how to do one, I could have done the rest myself. It's so easy. So I'll include the link to the pattern. I got it off Pinterest, of course. Um, so all I did was I went to Joann's and I bought a yard of each of these fabrics. We rounded the corners and you do a zigzag all the way around the edge. I really, really like these. Um, and I'm sure there's more complex swaddle patterns out there, but... I kind of like that these aren't the 
like they aren't specifically for swaddling and so I think they have more uses. Um, this is the first one that I really like and see it has the rounded corners. Um, and I just love the little, you know, woodland animal print. I thought it was super cute. Um, and we did a black um, border around the edge, which I really, really liked. And then this one, my dad really likes this one. He lives, my dad, for those of you who don't know, has a beard, lives in a cabin with his dog. Like, he's super outdoorsy, into hiking and everything. And when I showed him this one, he really liked it. So it's got... Let's get in the rounded corners. And I think we did we did navy blue on this one to kind of accent these. Um, but it's just got little, you know, like a backpack and hiking boots and um, little hook things that I can't remember what they're called. Um, but I really like this one. I thought it was cute. And those are all my favorite blankets. I can't believe, like, I know this video is going to go way longer than I wanted it to, but I just have so many cute things. Um... I think next I'll do clothes. I made a big pile of clothes right here that I wanted to show you. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys a little, a little tidbit for subscribers and people who subscribe to this video. In my next video, I am going to be covering my baby shower, so I'm going to show footage of the games and opening presents and just hanging out with people. And I think I'm going to do little interviews too. Uh, where they're going to tell me some baby advice. And I'm going to do a haul video um, as part of that. So I'll probably tack it on to the end or I'll post a separate video um, with all the stuff that I got at my baby shower from my friends and my family. And in that same video, I am going to include something for subscribers. I was thinking about how awesome it is that I have like, I have like 20 subscribers and I know that is not a huge number at all, but I'm so happy with it because I'm kind of just doing this for fun. And so getting subscribers is really exciting to me. And so I was, I was like, I want to personally thank all of them, but that's kind of silly. So I decided what I was going to do as I was going to do a subscribers only kind of contest sort of. I cannot decide what Bentley is going to wear home from the hospital. I have two outfits now that I definitely am considering, and I'm sure I'm going to get more clothes at my baby shower, even though I said I already have a lot of clothes. I know people buy clothes for a baby shower. Um, and so in that video, I'm going to include three or four choices, like options, um, for go home outfits and I'm gonna let subscribers vote on which one they would like to see Bentley wear home from the hospital and I'm gonna let you guys decide because I my only criteria is that it's cute and comfortable because I don't want to put him in like a button up and put him in a car seat to go home so um, I'll post all the outfits that I really like and would be happy to see him go home in and I'm gonna let you guys pick um, and Basically, I'm just going to have you comment the letter of the choice you want to make. Um, and again, that'll be in my next video. And I will only count the votes of subscribers. So if you would like a say in what he's going to wear home from the hospital, go ahead and subscribe. Just wanted to throw that in there because we're talking about clothes. And I'm going to mention, I think, two or three of the outfits that I've already been considering. Um, and if there are any that you really, really like in this video, go ahead and comment below and I will um, take that in con into consideration when I'm making the options um, for the contest. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I, I thought it was a really good idea not to toot my own horn. So speaking of which, this is one of the outfits that I am considering. I... Most of his stuff is, I don't want to say grown up because I don't think that's the right word, but I don't have a lot of stuff for him that's like, how do I explain it? He has like little button ups and little t-shirts and little jeans. Like he doesn't have a lot of clothes that are really baby baby, you know, like he has little sweatpants and stuff like that. But I feel like this outfit only works on a baby. I think that's what I'm trying to say, but I really, really like it. And I usually don't like stuff like that. Um, and so I wanted to include it because I think that means that I really like it. So here's the little t-shirt. It's got little dinosaurs on it. 
And all the stuff I'm going to be potentially sending him home in is newborn size. So we might have to adjust because he's getting a little big, but um, here's the top. It has little dinosaurs and volcanoes on it. Super cute. And it has matching pants. They go this way. And I love these. They have little dinosaur feet on the bottom. And I also really like this for a go-home outfit because I want his little feet to be covered. I would have to put like a jacket on him to cover his arms and stuff, but this covers his little feet. So cute. And then it comes with a little hat. I don't, I don't know if I like the hat, but I have like a neutral, like just a plain beanie that I could put him in if I decide I don't like it. I like the back. It's got like the little dinosaur, you know, things, but I just don't know if I, if I like the little dinosaur on the front, but let me know what you think. Um, so that's one potential go home outfit. I bought, it's from Carter's. Most of the clothes that I really, really love are from Carter's. I... I spent way too much money there <laughs> already. Um, yes, I love Carter's. Um, and then I got him a set of onesies. This was a while ago. Um, I think this is even before... I think this is even before I found out I was pregnant. Like, I, I just saw them and they were neutral and so I really wanted to buy them and they were on sale. These are Cat and Jack, so you can find them at Target. Um, they're long sleeve. I bought, there was like six in a pack, but these are just a couple of them. I really like this one. Um, and they were all really neutral, which I like because I, I feel like I can pair really cute stuff with them. Um, and it came with like a plain white one and stuff like that. And I also bought the matching Cat and Jack, I think they're kind of, yeah, uh, little sweatpants. So here's one pair. Um, they, I really like the black pair the most. They have a little tie, which is super cute. Um, I think they came with a gray pair and a pair that was this pattern, which I think is super cute. You can kind of mix match them, which I really like. Um, bought those at Target. I think, I think they were on sale. Um, I'm not sure if they still have them or not. Uh, this I found, there is a huge consignment sale that happens in Olympia every year. For future parents or people who are thinking about having kids, this is a really good piece of information. It's called the Just Between Friends sale. And basically, it is a huge, like, gently used consignment event. And so people will come together and put up all their gently used or brand new. I found a lot of brand new stuff. Um, stuff for their babies and... The line was really long and it was chaotic and crowded and awful, but I got so many amazing things that I'll be going next year. It was totally worth it and I recommend going. Um, they also had maternity clothes, they had furniture, they had cl like baby clothes, baby toys. They had a ton of stuff. I'm pretty sure they had kids clothes too, but I'm not entirely sure so don't trust me on that. Um, but it's the Just Between Friends sale. Um, they have a Facebook page. It's really, really awesome. I think they also have one in Tacoma, but I'm not 100% sure. I know they have two of them. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, I know it usually happens around May. That's when I went, and I think they have another one during the winter, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I got this there. I think it was like 25 cents. And I just thought it was so cute. It has a little bear on it, and it's buttoned up. Um... I thought it would be cute with like a little plaid jacket or a plaid vest and some jeans. I really like that. And I think that's newborn size too. Yeah. That Carter set at Target, the one that I showed you before with the dinosaurs. And it also came with the matching pajamas. Have a little dinosaur on them. Super cute. I have a lot of pajamas for him. And I actually think I'm going to buy a couple more sets um, after the baby shower if we don't get any. Because I know that the first couple weeks you don't really leave the house that much and I just want something that's comfortable and easy for him and I want him to be warm because it does kind of get cold in our house and I really hate turning on the heat. I know that sounds awful. Like I didn't turn it on at all last winter and I'll probably turn it on this winter just just for him. Um, but it does get kind of cold and especially if we're just like going to the grocery store or something like why get him all dressed up i love dressing you know like 
I love getting dressed up and I know I'm gonna love dressing him up but I also know that it's important to have a lot of like comfy options so I have a lot of footy pajamas um, and that's a newborn size I also have these pajamas and they're kind of girly but I love them anyway and so he can just deal with it um, but they're just blue they have little bunnies on them I love bunnies and so I couldn't help myself they also have little fuzzy bunny um, feet, which I really like. <laughs> um, he will be wearing that. I don't care if it's girly. Um, and then at the, I think, no, this was not at the Just Between Friends sale. My mother-in-law bought this for me. Um, I think she got it at Goodwill. I do not have a problem with hand-me-downs. Um, I know a lot of people do, and I totally don't judge you if you do. Um, and I definitely wash them before, and I only... I only take stuff or get stuff that looks like it was barely worn. Um, like, I'm not going to get something that's stained or gross or anything. Um, but I love consignment. Like, especially with baby stuff, they go through stuff so fast. And usually, and I know this is how I'm going to be too, I'm like staring at all the baby clothes I have that are in bigger sizes that I'm not even going to touch in today. But... I know that there's stuff that he's probably not going to wear or he's going to wear it like once or twice and this especially, it's like a special item and so I know it probably wasn't worn that much um, and so I just really have no problem with it. I you know, have already washed all of his clothes, um, even the ones that I bought brand new so I'm not really worried about it but um, my mother-in-law got this for me at Goodwill. It says my first Thanksgiving because he will be... He's due November 2nd. Um, it is newborn, so hopefully it'll fit. We'll have to see. Um, and then my favorite part, it has a little turkey on the butt. I love baby clothes that have animals on the butt. I don't know why. I just think it's adorable. Um, but yeah, more funny pajamas. And go ahead and show you the other two footy pajamas I got. I went to the outlet mall in Centralia. Um, I think it was two or three weeks ago. I just, I had some spending money and lately I have not been buying things for myself. Like, I just don't, like, I would rather buy stuff for Bentley with, um, with, like, the money that I set aside for Zach and I to spend. We each have, like, a little allowance that we get to spend. Um, and I've been usually just buying Bentley stuff because it's more fun right now. Um. And I always feel like he needs more stuff, even though that's probably not true. But I went to Carter's. Um, we don't have an actual Carter's store in Olympia. You have to go to the outlet one in Centralia. Um, and Target carries Carter's, but it's usually more expensive. So if you like Carter's, it is definitely worth like saving up and going to Centralia and doing one big trip um, instead of shopping at Target. Or Babies R Us. Do not shop at Babies R Us. That's my little, that's another little piece of wisdom for parents out there. Babies R Us is ridiculously overpriced. All the clothes can be found cheaper at pretty much any store, and all of the actual baby items, order them from Amazon. Um, Zach and I did like a little price comparison, and I might even go back and do a video on this because it was so, it was so appalling to me. Um, just to bring up one item, we got a little, um, what was it? We got a breastfeeding pillow cover because I bought a boppy at a yard sale and I wanted a new cover for it. Just, I don't know, for some reason, like, the consignment clothes didn't bother me, but I really wanted a new cover for my boppy just because my breasts and milk and... I bought a new cover for it and I ordered it from Amazon for, like, $15.00 and the same exact cover was like $45 at Babies R Us. Um, I, now that I'm talking about it, I think I'm totally going to do a video where I show you items in the store and then show you their Amazon price. Um, I do recommend if you um, don't order stuff offline a lot or if you really want to look at an item, then go to Babies R Us. Like, look at the item. You can see it. You can feel it. You can read the box and then go home and order it off Amazon because it... It will save you so much money. Like, I can easily say ordering all of our stuff off Amazon has saved us, like, hundreds of dollars. Um, and that's my little tidbit on Babies R Us. 
Um, so I got these at the Carter's Outlet. I'll go through like all the stuff that I got there. Um, I really love these pajamas. I think these are going to be on the list of go-home outfits, or at least they are for now. Um, I know they're not like particularly exciting for a go-home outfit, but I just really like the color, and they're like the Henley, um, I think that's what it's called, material. And they have um, their footy. They have a little bear on the pocket, but it's really hard to see because um, it's like black on navy. But I just, I love these pajamas so much, um, and they just look so comfy. And then um, these are the other newborn pajamas that I bought him. Um, and they have little, little foxes and um, little trees and little teepees. I thought these were really cute because they go with his woodland theme. Um, and they're also that like Henley material. I bought a lot of stuff that day, but I'm only going to show you the stuff that I got that'll fit him now. Um, and then I'll periodically do videos when I cycle in new clothes for him and stuff. Um, but I, I literally have so much stuff. Like I've been given a lot of stuff, especially like I've been given a lot of hand-me-downs or my, <laughs> my mother-in-law will do these like Goodwill hauls where she'll like grab all the like nice baby clothes she can find and have me go through it. So I have a ton, a ton of bigger size stuff. Um, but I only want to show you this stuff to keep it kind of under control. Um, I also got this set. Oh, never mind. Those are not from Carter's. This is, yep, this is from Carter's. Okay. So on that Carter's trip, I also got this set and I think this and the dinosaur are my top choices for go home. Um, it's a little bear onesie. It's so tiny cause it's newborn. Um, and it says hug me. It's got a little bear and it has little pants that go with it. They have little bears on them. And the best part, the bear on the butt. <laughs> Super cute. I love that. Um, and they look really cute together. It's hard to hold up, but very cute together. And I thought I would pair it with, I did not get these. Um, I got these at the consignment sale, so I'm not entirely sure where they're from because the tags were cut out. But I was going to add, since the pants are gray, I was going to add a little gray hat that has the little bear ears and um, probably just throw on some white socks or something. And then for his hands, I have little bear, um, I don't think they're called mittens. I really need to look up what these are called, but they're the little, they, they're like socks for their hands so they don't scratch themselves. And so I have bear ones and so I thought that would be really cute um, to go with it for his go home. Um, what else? Oh, and then this onesie came with it too. Um, this is wild about mommy. I think this is so cute. So cute. I, he really didn't need that set. Like it was one of those things that I felt a little guilty buying it, but it was so cute. I couldn't, I, I couldn't help myself. I have no self-control when it comes to him. Oh my gosh, he has so many clothes. Now I'm surrounded by this giant pile of stuff that I'm going to have to like refold and put away. Oh my goodness, he has so many shoes. I should <laughs> need to reevaluate. Okay, Bentley <laughs> has too many shoes, and I know this is a fact, especially babies who are zero to three really do not need shoes for any reason. I mean, maybe one pair um, to like put over socks to keep his feet really warm, but I know he doesn't need as many pairs as he has. <laughs> I just it's my first baby and I think baby shoes are one of those things where I splurged. I totally did. Um, and I am going to try to remember where all of these are from. I will do my best. Uh, these are the little, the little boots I was talking about before. I did get these at Babies R Us with my gift card and they were on sale. Um, yeah. I would not have got them without the gift card. Just putting that out there once again. I do not, I do not want to advise people to go there because it's so expensive. But they're super cute. Um, I like that they're so tall. Um, and they're just Velcro. Um, and these are size one, so they're not newborn. I think they're like one to three months or something like that. Um, I can't remember exactly. Um, but zero is newborn, so these are slightly bigger than newborn, and they're just little boots. I love these so much. I think they're going to be really cute with little ankle socks. Um, 
So there's those ones and they feel they they're like thick um, and so I think those would be good for the cabin um, and this is actually the first pair of baby shoes I bought him um, and I I had a lot of mixed feelings about these not because of their appearance they are very very cute um, they are size zero moccasins from freshly picked and I love freshly picked I love freshly picked moccasins um, they are pricey like this is probably I think this is that thing that I really splurged on um, and I don't regret it like that's that's why I've had such conflicting feelings is they were definitely expensive but I think these are going to be the pair of shoes that he holds on to. You know, like, I think all these other pairs are going to get cycled out, and they're probably going to go to Goodwill or something, but I think these are the ones he's going to hold on to, um, and so that's why I don't really feel bad about spending so much, and they are very, very well made. Like, I am very happy with them. The color is exactly the color that I wanted. It was very true to the website. They have a ton of colors and a ton of different sizes and designs, um, and so I am happy with these. Um, and once again, they're from Freshly Picked. You can order them online. Um, and I think you can buy them at Nordstrom too, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I don't think I regret buying them. I, I just had to like talk myself through it. Um, but they are super cute and they're super well made. So if you're looking for like a pair of newborn shoes that is going to last and that they're going to want to hold on to, I definitely recommend these. And I feel like they're going to be really comfortable too because they are so flexible. And these actually inspired me to buy his other two pairs of shoes. Um, and I ordered these, both of these pairs off Etsy. Um, and they are from, one sec, they have a little tag on them. Where is it? These are from Fawn Hollow Designs. I'll put a link below. They also, um, just like the other Etsy websites for the bear blanket and everything have a ton of really cute stuff for boys and girls on their website. So I definitely recommend, like, even if you don't think these patterns are cute, they're extremely well made and I'm very happy with them. So I definitely think that if you have a little one and you're looking to spend, you know, a little bit, they're also really well priced. Um, I think they were $15 a piece, maybe 12. They were, I was really happy with the price and especially like the price, the quality and how cute they are. And he got them to me really, really fast. Like I think they got to me within a week of ordering them, which is awesome for Etsy. Um, but yeah, they're from Fawn Hollow Designs. I'll put a link below. They have lots of cute patterns, lots of floral patterns, lots of really cute designs and colors. Um, they're little cloth. And these do match, these ones match his little blanket, his little bear blanket, which I thought was super, super cool. Um, and they're just like cloth moccasins, and they have um, elastic in the back. And on the inside, they have um, like that alpaca kind of sheepy, um, fuzzy stuff to keep them warm. And they have just like a soft bottom. And I really like these because they're like slippers. Um, they just look like they'd be really comfy. And I think I got these in the smallest size. I think these are a size one. Um, but he has a lot of different sizes on there. I think these, maybe they weren't by size number. Maybe these are like zero to six months or something. But um, they have a lot of really cute ones and a lot of different sizes. And they do look true to size. Um, and I think people reviewed them saying they were true to size. And then the second pair that I got, I don't even know what I'm... I don't know what I would put with these. Like, I think I'm going to have to, it'll probably be like a plain onesie and a plain pair of pants. But I just cannot get over how cute they are. Just these ones. They have little cactuses, cacti on them. Um, and they're the same, same exact um, slipper with the fuzzy stuff inside and the elastic on the back. Um, these are just so cute. And I, yeah, those were definitely, um, if you're looking for really cute shoes, really comfortable shoes and for a really good price I definitely recommend them um I found a lot of cute stuff on Etsy but their page his page was definitely the one that I liked the most um I also forgot to mention these earlier and I found them and I feel like I have to mention them 
they are I'm not sure what size they are I think they're bigger they're like I don't think they would fit newborn um but I got little fox socks <laughs> and they're like thigh high I think they're really cute with the onesie um but I forgot to mention those earlier these I got off Amazon you can just I don't think I have a link for these but you can just google um like uh triangle um drool bibs on on Amazon you could search triangle drill bibs on Amazon and these will come up they had a lot of different sets to choose from and a lot of different colors um, and this set came with four um, but I really didn't like one of them and they were really reasonably priced and so I felt like buying a four pack and not liking one of them and like giving one away was still like totally worth it um, I really like this one it's plaid um, he has one with little deer and one with little polka dots. So those are those. Um, I really like these because they're um, they're soft on the inside, like really soft. I don't think they're going to be scratchy. They feel like the outside feels like it's made out of the same material as burp cloths. Um, and I like these because they're just cuter than regular bibs, um, especially the plaid one. I really love the plaid one. And babies drool a lot, and I want to keep his clothes nice. And these are cute so I can keep his clothes nice and he'll still look cute. And then this, I know, I know that someone's going to say something to me about this, so I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. I crocheted Bentley a scarf, and I know that you should not put a scarf on a baby. Like, I know that that is something you should not do because they can, they can get smothered. Um, and this, honestly, I think I only made it for, like, photos. Um, so obviously he would be super closely um, supervised and I would take it off as soon as photos were done. I just thought it was a really cute like accessory to have and as long as I'm watching him like a hawk I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I had this, he has a blanket that I also crocheted him out of the same material but I had like one skein left and I didn't know what to do with it. And so I knit him this little, or I crocheted him, I am not talented enough to knit. I crocheted in this little scarf, and yes, it has a hole in it, but the hole serves a purpose. Um, I didn't have a pattern for this, but I'm sure if you googled, like, keyhole scarf crochet pattern, you could find a pattern for it, or on Pinterest maybe. Um, and I actually, I didn't use a pattern, but I did it from memory, kind of, um, because I have a scarf like this also, uh, that I made for myself. I think it's gray. It's in the closet with my like millions of scarves um, and the reason it has a hole is you fold the scarf in half and you put the other end of the scarf through the hole and I thought this would be great for a baby because it wouldn't come off during the photos um, let me pull through a little bit more and so then since it comes through the hole it's not gonna un you know untwist unravel whatever it's not gonna come off of him and it's adjustable you know, so you can make it looser or tighter, and it has the two little, you know, I just, I thought that was a really, it's a really great idea for a scarf, and I really like mine, because it's so easy, like, I don't have to wrap it around my neck or tie it, it just goes straight through the hole, it looks super cute, um, and I thought for a little guy, and this will fit him for a really long time, um, I thought it would be really useful, and once again, I know you shouldn't put scarves on babies, only for photos, I promise. Um, and then at the Just Between Friends sale, I got him this little hat. Um, he has a lot of, like, just plain beanies or, like, plain little cloth hats, but this one, even Zach, who's, like, I, I don't want to say he's macho because he's definitely not, but he obviously doesn't get as excited about the clothes as I do, and this got him. Um, I, I just think it's so cute. It has a little chin strap which I don't think I'll ever use, but it's super cute. It's really warm too, which is awesome because um, I plan on visiting my dad around Christmas time and he lives in the mountains, he lives in the pass. And so it is really, really cold and he has feet, feet and feet of snow. So it's gonna be really important to keep him warm. Um, it's from Jamboree, but it's off, I think it's a couple years old because it was at the consignment sale. Um, and so I, I think someone probably held on to it for a season or two. Um, it says zero to six. It is a little big, like I've noticed compared to my other 
Um, usually the, ha the hats that I've found have been 0 to 3, but this is 0 to 6, so that's why it's bigger. Um, but I think it'll be okay. The worst case scenario, I will strap it um, and get it on his head a little bit tighter. Um, and then, oh, I'm almost done with clothes. This, let's see, this was a Goodwill find from my mother-in-law that I love. It just has little glasses on it. I think it's nerdy and cute. Um, I bought him, oh no, this is from, this is from my mother-in-law too. It says, I'll eat you up, I love you so. And this is such a good example of why you should go to Goodwill if, if you're okay with it. Because this onesie, I have seen it for like $25 on Etsy. Um, like this exact onesie. This one says, this one says it's from Carter's, but I know that they discontinued this and it got really big on like Pinterest and everything and um they sell on etsy for a lot um and other websites too and i'm sure she paid very very little because she went to the goodwill outlet and you pay by weight so that was a good find um and then i got this set at okay i did get this set at babies r us but that's only because i had a gift card it's the only reason um and i only spent the gift card amount um, it says Mini Explorer. Super cute. And these are 0 to 3, so they're a little bit bigger. I love this one. This one has little bears and owls, and trees and stuff. Super cute. Um, and I think this is the last thing for clothes. Um, I adore denim button-ups. I Zach has like two of them because I think they're super cute. He has a long sleeve one and a short sleeve one. And now Bentley has one too. I thought it would be really cute with like a little bow tie for Christmas. Super cute. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick belly shot before I finish this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, especially since in my next video, I will be doing a special contest only for subscribers where you get to help me pick what outfit he's going to come home in. <laughs> um, I am 28 weeks, which means now according to everywhere on the internet, I am in my third trimester and we have 12 weeks to go. So here we go. Um, here's the side. I noticed he's dropped a lot. And here's the front. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Bye, you guys.